Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 25th of October 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. Today is the 25th of October 2022. It's uh, Zimbabwe Anti-Sanctions Day. And uh, yes, uh, there are pictures which are circulating on social media, I mean, uh, from all provinces of Zimbabwe. Yes, Wanakwanda, uh, Wabuda, my streets, my streets, my sanctions, including some people are gathered at the uh, U.S. Embassy uh, uh, in Westgate, uh, in Arare, yes, uh, for anti-sanctions demo, but by embassy. Remember, there are some people who are 22 years, 3 years, who are going to embassy, pa do pe embassy, like, you know, just across the road, I yes, uh, they've been camping there for two or three years. Our uh, my sanctions and gab and the Sakaina itori itori very, very uh, serious. It's a very serious issue. And uh, as I said earlier on, that uh, when it comes to the mass sanctions, we all have different views, different opinions. So people say, uh, these are targeted sanctions only individuals and companies, entities which are targeted. Some people are saying, no. These are affecting the ordinary uh, Zimbabweans. And uh, Saka Muno Zona say, in a, it open for discussions and you can take it how you take it. But at the end of the day, I feel like uh, we have bigger problems than sanctions. I feel like corruption and do the main problem that we should be focusing on. I think we should have anti corruption day whereby we'll be talking much about yeah, the corruption, how much money we are losing per year by individuals who are stealing from us, who are stealing from our. Uh, pockets money which is supposed to be helping uh the ordinary zimbabweans marie suppose you get your my teacher your brother my soldier my police i mean the infrastructure my roads the guys rose koro she put her as well i'm showing up but i want to tell her marie to do what she's a moon and what she's in this amarizi couldn't you call that is the guns is as good for my sanctions the one in watching this amarizo so you know it's a very tricky situation which i feel like it needs to be talked about now the corruption at the same time my sanctions are going to affect us all, but corruption is going to be the money that I'm going to say. And so here are some of the pictures which are on your screen right now. At the U.S. Embassy uh, in Westgate in Harare, yes, and we're going to go under. And so we're going to go streets, of course, we need to turn on the phone game regarding uh, to these demos which are happening, and not just in Harare only, but all over Kishinoi, Marondera, you know, uh, Gubulawa, wherever. On the Wabuda and Asma Street, on the Zoni, my sanctions garbage square. And the Marguti are uh, pathetic instead of uh, a demo to their government to respect democratic principles and to comply with international human rights law and respect human rights. Marguti are uh, blaming sanctions when you buy a laptop for 9,000 US dollar. And the Marguti, if you demonstrate against this corrupt government, Motima Misa Nemapurisa, and the Marguti. Haya, USA yaketa 20 years bombing in Afghanistan. Yazo viskwa nemuromo. Give us a break, please. Wano moshe ya jokita anditi. Maharukuti. Sanctions are not a real problem in Zimbabwe. Pani problem mupa zewa, but mupa tiza yenyu. Maharukuti, good strategy. Because Zim government is not used to demo. So this is a good start. Sometimes charity begins at home. Uh, we are waiting for tables to turn once. Vanyato ziza kuita demo i feel sorry for those hungry other people who are being abused and lied to but which is called snabasa is enemy number one in our in our country is corruption by zanupf government so the best place for your match should be to the zanupf shake shake building or directly to the state house marguti magutambira kuro new zamanje ku u.s embassy makuda kutumira ma nuclear makauraisa chembere zedu Zirukuma Misha Kuma Garden is not gonna chavar kuziva and marguti uh quitis kwa uku. The same government that sent you there gave them land to build one of the largest embassies in Africa. Yes, it's true. I mean the relationship between Zimbabwe and America for real is a good relationship because there's no way uh the government would allow them to build that biggest that billion dollar you know embassy in Zimbabwe. Why would they build a billion dollar embassy in Zimbabwe? You are Zoti uh to the under my sanctions and it, i mean it really doesn't make sense if you look on how uh, much america is putting in zimbabwe in terms of food aid medical aid in zimbabwe millions of millions of years dollar and at the end of the day 
tenge chiz ones you need to under my sanctions to under my sanctions like for you and it so some someone saying kuti uh watch over the embassy ask them kuti my sanctions chi apana chino zika no but busy kuita much is nabasa instead of registering to vote and it so guys this is our daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila in the team tv i will try by all means to uh reply to your comments in the comment section and it got so keep on commenting keep on commenting let's discuss about nyaze my sanctions nyaye mune when i say my sanctions today is the anti-sanctions day is uh later on today um kune gala riko kushitungwiza and uh, starting at six o'clock uh p.m up tomorrow uh Mokseni and uh, yes, it is sponsored by the min- uh, the ministry of information of course the government is sponsoring this gala and uh, so we'll be keeping you in the loop uh today zufamba say zwakamira say here on a prince miller entertainment tv remember to like share comment follow subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms we're on instagram facebook uh facebook group which is a prince miller entertainment tv we're also available on twitter at a p miller ent on side side where there is a prince miller podcast just look for us we're everywhere thank you for listening and thank you for being part of us here on this channel let's discuss in the comment section bless up